can you please describe the contact lens evaluation that a patient would be looking at? I know it varies, I'm sure, based on each patient's needs, but just in a general sense, so we have an idea of what we're looking at. Generally speaking, in order to prescribe contact, bif specifically bifocal contact lenses in a, in a proper way, the patient needs to go through a bifocal contact lens evaluation. And I'll go through the different um, parts of the examination in a very general way. Part one is, number one, is to do a case history, to find out if the patient's taken any medication, has any systemic diseases of the, uh, of the body, for example, like hypertension or diabetes, because they can affect the actual tear layer. Um, and if, it does, if the patient has diabetes or hypertension and they're taking medication for it, we have to discuss that and try to find a way to make sure they're able to wear the lenses with comfort. The other part of the um, equation or the evaluation is doing a dry eye tear analysis. The number one reason why patients fail in wearing contact lenses, especially bifocal contacts, is because they have dry eyes. Mm -hmm. So in the evaluation, we have to determine if the patient has dry eyes or not. And if they have a dry eye, we have to categorize what type of dry eye so we can treat it properly. So if the patient has a dry eye, we have to treat the dry eye problem first and then prescribe the contact lenses. So that's another part of the evaluation and very, very important part because the number one reason I'll reiterate for failure of wearing bifocal contacts is due to dry eyes. Another part of the evaluation is doing the refraction, fine tuning the prescription, okay, for far away and up close, okay. Um, and other parts is taking measurements of the cornea, measurements of the pupil. So fitting a bifocal contact lens involves more parameters, more precision, and there are more measurements to take when you compare it to non-bifocal contact lens. So it's a very time-consuming uh, evaluation.